Pierre-Éric Pommelet, you are the TALIS Executive Vice President in charge of Defence Mission Systems and also the TALIS Group's Unmanned Aircraft Systems activities. What role does TALIS play in the Unmanned Aircraft Systems market today? So TALIS today is the uh, European leader uh, for the uh, Unmanned Air Systems, uh, UAS, as we usually say in our, uh, in our domain, uh, by uh, providing to the uh, UK Minister of Defence uh, the Watchkeeper system, the Watchkeeper being the largest uh, tactical UAV, something the, the UAV designed uh, to operate with the uh, land armed forces, so the largest program in Europe and one of the largest program in the world, by the way. But we also cover, let's say, the full spectrum, from the small ones uh, that are operated also in the defense or in some uh, civilian aspects, up to the big ones, Watchkeeper being let's say a medium-sized UAV, but we are today engaged uh, together with uh, Dassault Aviation or BAE, for example, in the, uh, the preparation of the future combat air systems, in the use of this unmanned air vehicle for combat as combat aircraft. Is TALIS also addressing the civil market? The civil market is a very interesting one. You know, UAVs are started, let's say, uh, 20 years ago, uh, in the military domain. And now there is no military theatres where uh, UAV are not in operation. I mean, they are really key, uh, key assets uh, of the uh, information, surveillance and reconnaissance, what we call the ISR, but also key assets in some uh, combat operations. Of course, the Americans are using it extensively. But the, uh, the civil market is just starting. Uh, it's starting now for, for several reasons. First, the um, uh, rules, regulations are not there yet. Uh, it's not uh, very easy to have uh, a, a UAV, a remote control, a drone flying in the civil air airspace. And the, uh, the authorities are not ready yet to authorize full development. This is why the civil market is not yet uh, totally uh, developed, but it has started. We have um, um, uh, already many programs going on in the civil domains. Um, uh, one of them is very important in uh, near Bordeaux. We are participants to a cluster, a UAV cluster, and work with a lot of small and medium-sized business enterprise in order to work with them to to, to, to uh, have innovations with them and, and to prepare the, the future of the civil markets. I would also mention uh, uh, security applications. Uh, you know that uh, TALES is contracted uh, to secure the city of Mexico. Uh, one of the aspects of the project is to manage through the systems information coming from uh, UAVs. And um, uh, also, let's say that TALES is a part of all the European programs, essentially studies today. Uh, that are uh, related to uh, drones, of course, uh, with some aspects that interest uh, very much European Union, such as the insertion of drones in the air traffic control. Uh, we were the first company to certify with totally civil rules a UAV in the European airspace. And so you see it starting, you will see drones um, and more drones uh, in, in many usage and many functions such as surveillance, for example, if you want to uh, survey fires uh, during the summer or surveillance of infrastructure uh, such as uh, pipelines or trains, uh, rails, etc. Uh, security, of course, this will come and this will come very fast. Where do you see unmanned aircraft system solutions in 20 years time? As I said, it started 20 years ago. Uh, can I Imagine what it will be in 20 years. Obviously, there will be a huge amount of, this, uh, uh, of those products uh, in the air, but not, on, not only in the air, by the way, because you know those remote vehicles can also be in the ground, in the sea, under the sea. But if we stay on the uh, air vehicles, many applications, of course, in the military, military domain, and I've said that in uh, 20 years, very probably the first application of combat UAV will be accessible for some countries and um, hopefully European countries like France and the UK, uh, but also in the civil domain. It will really start. It's not uh, by hazard that Google or Amazon uh, start to be interested in those technologies because there are many, many applications that can be realized with UAV. So I predict a brilliant future for uh, airborne UAVs in the next 20 years. Thank you very much.